Now to South Monterey County and King City, where tonight there is a new cloud hanging over the controversy surrounding last week's dismissal of the city's police chief. Action News reporter Felix Cortez is live in King City with today's developments. Well, Aaron, this time it's coming from Assemblyman Luis Alejo. Today he called for a federal investigation and complete takeover of the King City Police Department. That announcement coming just a week after uh, Police Chief Ron Forgay was fired from the force without explanation. Now, today, Assemblyman Luis Alejo called for a U.S. Department of Justice probe of the King City Police Department in a written statement. The uh, release this morning, Alejo states the pattern and practice of illegal behavior by the King City PD merit the extraordinary step of placing the department under a federal consent decree. Assemblyman Alejo says it's a number of issues that led to him to call for the investigations, issues that date back to last year's department-wide corruption case, but it appears the firing of Ron Forgay without explanation just four months into the job was the last straw. Now tonight, the city council is meeting for the first time since last week's surprise development uh, of, uh, of Ron Forgay's firing. It's expected to be a full house as people, uh, the community, pack this uh, meeting for looking for some type of explanation uh, as to why Forgay was fired. In fact, tonight's council meeting has been moved across the street to the Magnets Arts School, uh, where that meeting just got underway. And Aaron, I'll be covering tonight's council meeting. Have a full wrap up on this. Uh, meeting coming up later on Action News 8 at 11. Reporting from King City, I'm Felix Cortez. Aaron, back to you in the studio. I will look for that report tonight at 11. Thank you, Felix. And in another development, today city leaders announced they are bringing back Tony Solicito to run the police department on an interim basis. He will start next week.